morning everybody today we're going to work on uh, steering and suspension mod for the D413 um, what really drove me crazy about this kit was the part where when you go to align the caster on this truck that in order to get these wheels the way they should be the dog bone right up in here will pop out so idea I had this morning and as long as my idea was fresh in my brain <clears throat> these shocks right here this one I already modified what I did is I put a spacer inside to uh, limit the travel so that it'll raise the suspension up a little bit that way I can get the, the camber back where it should be alright so today I'm gonna show you how I did that and uh, and then uh, we can uh, install and see what happens alright so I have not done this uh, before so this is uh, first time for me but you can tell with the shocks fully extended um, the difference there is right here right so probably Oh, without measuring it, well, let's measure it. The unmodified shock is about four inches long, just shy of four inches long, and the modified shock, whoops about three and a half so that's a gonna make a big difference I believe so anyway um, I tell you what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, I'm gonna put the spring in here I'm gonna have to take some of the preload off of here now that I had before because now it's shorter so I'm just gonna run that all the way up we can adjust that later Now keep in mind, I'm going to have to put oil back in here, but uh, give us an idea. I'm going to I'm going to move this to this hole here and the outer hole out here, so I haven't shortened as much as possible. Right, so let's just put a screw in. I'm going to move this to the outer hole on the A-arm, if I can find it. It's a bad day when I can't find it, even with my reading glasses on. So just to give you guys an idea, with the modified shock, it's going to raise that suspension way up. I may have to play with um, the holes a bit, but that's going to raise it way up. Here's what the uh, stock setup. Oops, wrong hole. Try not to lose my screws here. All right, so as you can see, there's a major difference here. Um, the wheel on the left is much lower than the wheel on the right, but now one on the right is up 
enough even at its fully extended position that I can move this caster out to a more real um, alignment and uh, and uh, hopefully then the, the truck will uh, will drive a lot better this is right now the way it is it's like all over the place I can't keep it straight um, it's fun I mean I got a 3000 kV uh, brushless motor in it and so it's got like a lot of power even on a two cell it just you know hauls butt so and I can run up to a three on it <clears throat> which I haven't done yet but uh, I most likely will um, at one point if I can find a battery small enough so anyway let me pop this out okay so I took the cap off and uh, now I just have the nut um, with the plunger so I'll take my little T-wrench right here and take that nut off I think okay so that's off we just tap on it a bit until it falls out like so all right so now I just got the shaft right here right all right so what I did with the other one is in uh, one of my axial parts trees they have this part right here that I took and one of these off and stuck it in the bottom which I'll find my scissors which makes it easier to just snip it on both sides all right so we have this all right so you can see there's a wide part on one side right here at the bottom now that's going to go down the bottom of the the shock body right here so we'll just stick that in there push it down okay like so and then put this all back together again the hard part about this is getting these little teeny washers look at that went the first time lot the first one I did was a real pain it didn't want to go together stick that back down on there take the nut put it back on it's easier to put it in the T wrench first and then screw it back together. Now I can just hold this little T wrench and spin this shaft right here until it's tight. Okay. So, and that's it. Now all I gotta do is uh, refill it with oil and uh, put the springs back on, reinstall them, and uh, good to go okay so I got the shocks all back on I adjusted the linkage um, as you can see um, everything is now like it's supposed to be and um, actually the best part of this mod is that it did not cost me anything I just had uh, some parts from a parts tree right here and I uh, cut them off and uh, made it work and um, took it out and uh, everything stays together um, I don't know if y'all can see this but maybe I can zoom in a little bit but uh, the dog bone in the cup is in far enough where it won't come out right so problem solved now I got alignment my alignment is all fixed and uh, like I said it didn't cost me a darn thing um, just a, a old parts tree I had laying around that uh, wasn't doing anything anyway so um, but anyway that's what a mechanics all about making things work 
and that's what I did today. I made it work, and making it work without costing any money is a big old plus in my book. So, um, give her a test drive right here. So, looks good. Right? Alright. So, uh, if you liked what you saw today, come on back. Um, there'll be more to come. Uh, I feel 2019 is going to be an exciting year, uh, at least for this channel. So, I uh, may have to do a little bit more adjusting, but uh, for the most part, this thing is done. Alright? So, um, let's go out and have fun. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to post it. If you like what you saw, subscribe. There'll be more. Thank you.